Uh, Devin says, Dear Boop 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 Friend Cast, first time writer, long time viewer. Mm, hello. Um, stuff, 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 stuff. Um, in one of my college classes, I found out that one of my classmates was also into horror, and we talked about movies for a while. That's well. Cool. Silent Hill came up, and we talked about the video game franchise, and it turns out that she played the first four games uh, and a few of the later ones in the series. Mm-hmm. When I asked what her favorite Silent Hill was, she said, Homecoming. Oh, all right. Uh, she then asked why fans hated Homecoming so much, and I tried to make it more of a discussion. <laughs> Um, That's smart. That's smart. And it turns out the reason uh, why it's her favorite is because uh, she couldn't stand the first three's controls and liked that quote, the main character is crazy. (laughs) Uh, Professor walked in before I could say anything and we never talked about (sighs) video games or horror again. My question is, have you ever met a perfectly decent person who really loves a thing yeah. that you despise to the point where Men. it changes your relationship Men. with that Devil person? Devil May Cry 2. Men, <laughs> Men slash Billy, Billy yeah. says Devil, Devil May, May Cry, Cry 2 too. is the best Devil May Cry game, and he is absolutely 100% serious. He hangs on that fucking cross every time he dies on that so hill we have billy loves dmc we, too we have talked to a lot of we over our over the past 15 years when we talk to friends when we talk to people in the industry when we talk to the other youtubers you hear people with a lot of crazy opinions yeah, yeah, yeah. but no one no one ever <laughs> Has come close to the one that I heard like 15 years ago yeah, now. I can't yeah. think of anything this even is comparable. This is not throwing anyone under the bus. No. He set up a shop under there. Yeah, He's he lives been there. there. That's it's his, his home. It's his favorite Devil May Cry game, and you will not convince him otherwise. And it, like, we can throw him a bit under the bus a little bit where we go, not only does he love Devil May Cry too, but he's like, I don't like how jokey and lame Dante became <laughs> in Devil May Cry Three. No, you want to you want to really fucking go there well, when we finished when he finished editing up the fucking Parasite Eve two playthrough, and I really appreciate that he did a great job. He's, he messages us in the editor's chat, he's like, "Hey guys, you gonna play three? It's the best one. How about Third Birthday? Third though? Birthday's really good. How about the you guys bu- should bu- really bu- play bu- Third Birthday, bu- 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 dude. That is that is the that is the one." That is the absolute one. Is he just is he just running like the longest con? No, there's he's, it, never, this, cracked. This is, he's never cracked. This is he's never cracked. Because if so, he's the strongest person that's ever existed. There's no win at that. No. There's no winning. No. There's, he's not gonna go. Aha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. on my fucking deathbed. That bed. doesn't do anything to me. I'll be frustrated. Sure. Uh, John from Boston. Hey, Boston, John. Hey, hey Boston, man. Agents of... Uh, hey, most hey most best friends. Agents of Mayhem is on sale on PSN for 7 bucks and 49 cents. Not worth it. Nine months after release. Or you can get the deluxe edition for 50 cents more with every piece of That's DLC. That's what is the fastest price drop you've ever seen? The fastest price drop I've ever seen. Good question. Um, is there something? I remember Tomb Raider was... Like, it's not the fastest... But I remember within like no, it might have been <laughs> radical heights. <laughs> I remember. I remember within from free to no. I remember radical heights again. I remember Tomb Raider, the 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 new Tomb Raider, dropped like twenty bucks within like a couple weeks. What's the timeline? It, on- it was crazy fast. I What's remember. the timeline on Battleborn? Battle oh, because to new Tomb they Raider they hung around for like a year. New Tomb yeah. Raider, are you sure it wasn't just promotion? No, no, the price got dropped to like forty bucks within like two weeks. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Like it could have, but I, I don't know. I want to say that I remember after like oh, it bombed so bad, Bionic Commando Grin would like received a massive price cut as well to like try to uh, cover the losses of it not selling. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I, I, there's probably like an actual... I'm trying to think of the Bomba threads. I would just say, Bomba, this game, this price now, okay. after like a couple weeks. Uh, uh, Battleborn was released December 7th, 2015 for 60 bucks, And then by July 17, it was uh, at... They dropped the price in half when Overwatch came out. It, it was at 30. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, January fourteenth, twenty seventeen. It it got dropped to thirty bucks. So because the ultimate price drop is that's gonna, one year is going to be from full price to free, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how fast is I, that? I kind of don't count that just because it's a different business model rather than just dropping the price. Mm, maybe like it counts and it doesn't count to me. I don't know. 
It's yeah, yeah. I I mean, if you want to talk about trash, like we've all seen games get dropped to like ten bucks like two weeks after their release. But I don't even remember the names of those games because that's like, what it's got to be stuff to like Never Dead and and Knight's Contract. Just garbo and then and like then that. there's and then there's games that never drop their fucking price ever ever. Nintendo ever. games, Nintendo yeah, games. Nintendo games. No, but I mean even the Garbo ones. Like, uh, I saw a screenshot of, like, a fucking 3DS game of Cory in the house for the 3DS that was still full price. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that screenshot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That, uh, I mean, Battleborn's a pretty strong contender. How even fast if it's not did the Evolve answer. die? That's another one, too. Oh, that must die. That, that, That's another there, one, too. That, there's something because, there. Because even with your caveat that it's different, Evolve went from a 60 to free to dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's definitely there somewhere. Uh, Lawbreakers? Oh, shit. Is this true? Does anyone have data on that? Lawbreaker? Well, what are you looking at? Uh, price drops on popular uh, 2014 game titles for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Apparently, when uh, Shadow of Mordor came out, $60, and it came out on September 18th, then by November 23rd, you could buy it for $25 in some places. Wow. Hmm. Official, like MRSP, right? Because like, I wouldn't count the stuff. Because you know, know how there was things where it's like, oh, go to Future Shop and you can get it like half price. Oh, by the way, to those of you who have Best Buy's Gamer Club things, Best Buy says get fucked. That deal is dead forever now, which sucks. You know that thing they have? The, the 20% off if you pay a small. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, dead. That. Okay. Best Buy doesn't want you to buy games there anymore, I guess. Yeah, um, the, there was those deals where it was like certain $60 games would come out at like, like 40 with you, um, if you bought them on day one at Best Buy or yeah. whatever the fuck the, the the ridiculous discount was, and and yeah, like those wouldn't count. I'd say I, I'm talking about like MSRP drop, you yeah. know. Um, what about Brink? Do you guys remember Brink? Barely. Yeah, exactly. I wonder how fast that died. Bet it uh, died real fast. Uh, Charlie from Gloss of England says the Super Friends. I was talking to some friends earlier today, and I came up with. Things that really freak our shit out. Um, <laughs> and uh, ah, I love that discounting stuff from horror games because that's a core component of the yeah, genre. Yeah, of course. You mean the obvious one is the redads from the 3D Zeldas. Yes. Um, that fucking fish from Mario 64 is The terrifying. start of the convict eels, music in Dead Rising in any 1. Mario game. The start of the convict music in Dead oh, Rising 1. Oh, no. I'm going to have to disagree with that. That pumps you up. Uh, Gone Guru is such a great trash song. Uh, yeah, the question is uh, basically getting at what's the most bone chilling like sound or music or stuff in a non horror game. I'm gonna go with that fish from Mario 64. That, that fish is strong, but that's music sound music sound music, music. music sound. Um, we oh, we, we talk about drowning. Sonic Sonic, Sonic drowning. drowning Sonic drowning right. Sonic drowning Sonic drowning is anxiety in yeah, audio like, form. Yeah, just they put anxiety into a synthesizer and made it sound. Yes, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's you won. Mm -hmm. You won. Well, you, that's that's. I give shout outs to Psycho Mantis theme as well for being like nice. The, oh, oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that. whenever I stand alone plays in Prince of Persia. because <laughs> you know the Dahaka's coming. <laughs> Uh, Chris says, why would you this, Matt? Why? Why? What did you do? Why would I this? Matt, what you why like, would you do? No, there, no. Is there just, a picture? No, no. All right. Um, Jake from State Farm, what are your best favorite death animations? Uh, Leon, but it's not the animation, it's the noise. <laughs> like, man, it's hilarious. One of my favorites is getting too close to a bloater in Last of Us. Yeah. Grabs you, rips your face off, by the, and then rips off your lower jaw. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna just throw up the entire Metal Slug franchise. Mm -hmm. Those animations in Metal Slug of of like the different elaborate deaths are fucking incredible. Some of the best sprite work. Ever. I remember being blown away in Turok too. Whenever you use certain weapons, and they'd get like holes blown in their chest, and you'd see mm -hmm. like the um, the uh, the ribs kind of poking out, and then people get like you because every every character model in that game had different sets of death animation. Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. none, no one had the same ones. Like this creature was too different from another one. So, and I remember being just like, wow. Lara Croft gets it pretty hard in, in, yes. the, in the new franchise as well. She sure does. Um, but I'm going to go for something like out there. But do you remember Earthworm Jim 1? Sure do. When you kill Slug for a butt? 
not I don't remember the you, when you kill animation. the final boss and like you shoot her and you're in a circle going around and around shooting her yeah. on her and, butt uh, uh, no well you're shooting her her in the body at that yeah, point yeah. and um she like bursts and bursts and like 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 almost like a chest buster kind of thing happens mm-hmm. where like her whole t- upper torso explodes but the rib cage stays and all the guts splay out like I don't just remember a this mess. at all I don't remember it. and it's just those gory ass like the top half of her torso is blown open and the rest is still just bleeding out mm-hmm. there and it was That's really messed up yeah. um i'm going to go man do you remember in dead space those with the name of the monsters that you fought in Dead Space 1 primarily, where they were made up of little tentacle monsters, and when you shot it, they would fly apart. Yeah. There was, an anim- there was, a, there was a death animation where the head would grab a hold of your neck and knock your head off, and then insert into your yes. neck and become your head. Yeah, I remember that. And then that. look at the camera. It mm. was awesome. Uh, AVP games have a lot. Mm. Oh yeah, they sure mm-hmm. do. Specifically, like specifically, like the last one, the 2010 one, where had all the every every creature had a different death animation. But I I forgot about the one. I think it's an AVB two, the one the earlier ones where you started as a chest burster and you had to work your way through the chest cavity. Yeah, that's AVB two. It's that's second AVB level. two. It's so so you had to you had to burst through just so that kind of counts. Uh yeah, uh, super good. Master D. Yeah, Master D. Master mm, D. Yeah, Bionic Commando. Yeah, that, his head explodes real good. That shit was legit. 